Are you as cold and unfeeling as you seem? I'm Dr. Temperance Brennan. I'm an anthropologist at the Jeffersonian. Why'd you become a forensic anthropologist? There must be some reason you chose this field out of the hundreds of other careers someone of your intelligence could have chosen. You must know about her family. Both parents vanish when she's 15. Brennan figures that maybe somebody like her had been there. It must be very painful. Is it fair to say that you've been trying to solve the mystery of their loss your whole life? My parents disappeared when I was 15. Nobody knows what happened to them. I see a face on every skull. I can look at their bones and tell you how they walked, where they hurt. When I look at a bone, it's not some artifact that I can separate from myself. It's a part of a person who got here the same way I did. It should never be easy to take someone's life. Maybe that's why you took my advice and you'd never change yourself for another person again. So you'd never be hurt. You tucked your heart away. And you used your brain. Brain and heart bonds. Brain and heart. People lie. But bones always tell the truth. I'm just one of those people who doesn't get to be in a family. The notion of a committed relationship is fantasy. You get scared. But I miss so much. Don't I? Yeah. I'm a scientist. I can't change. I don't know how. If you keep living, trying to protect yourself, nothing is ever going to touch you. Bonds of reason, education, and proof. All riddles are solvable to you, except the one. The riddle you can't solve is how somebody could love you. He knows the truth of you, and he's dazzled by that truth. Listen to me. If you find somebody that you can trust, you hang on to them. Remember that. I miss that. Someone caring where I am all the time. You believe that love is transcendent and eternal. I want to believe that too. stop me because I knew that I was going to make something of myself one day. <laughs> <laughs>